Hey folks, this is Ben from Road to VR, and I'm here with Jan from Virtuix, and we just got to check out the Virtuix Omni, the omnidirectional VR treadmill. This is the prototype you've been showing at trade shows, um, but you have a uh, closer to production uh, run coming in soon, right? Can you tell us about the differences between the two? The final product that we will ship will have the integrated tracking solution in the base. Right now we're still here with the Kinect. We're almost done with that, which will be a great improvement. The Kinect is great, but our tracking solution will be more accurate, less jittery, and basically you can then also decouple the walking direction from the viewing direction, which will make a big impact on the immersion. And so can you tell us a little bit more about the tracking solution that you settled on? So now, for those who don't know, they're using the Kinect. Um, they've been using that from the beginning just to do some basic leg tracking, but there's a lot of limitations. And now you're moving to a new system. Right, we will use capacitive sensors that we will put into the base. And so they will be tracking your feet positionally. So at any given time, we know where your feet are. We know what speed you're walking, where you're walking, if you're jumping or not. Um, so that will provide for uh, motion input that has never existed before, that developers can use to make fascinating applications for VR and for the Omni. And how has production gone thus far? You, I understand, made a trip to China to get that all sorted out. Has there any, been any unexpected roadblocks? So far, so good. I've been uh, in China twice. Our CEO lives in China, lives in Taiwan, so he'll be instrumental in getting the production set up. People in China love the Omni. We show the, the Omni to you know, different manufacturers, different partners, and sometimes founders of these companies attended our meetings. These are companies with you know, 200,000 employees, and they loved it. They were so excited about it. So we'll have great partners in Asia to bring a top quality product to the market. And as of now, are you totally on track with uh, your delivery date for the Kickstarter? We announced last week that uh, the date that we set forth, uh, which was January, will not be attained. So now we're looking at a March-April time frame. So you're also developing a demo game to help developers understand how to develop with the Omni and to get uh, to have players have something to do when they first get it. How is development of that coming along? Yeah, that's Trevor, which was a stretch goal of our Kickstarter. Uh, really excited about it. It's going uh, nicely, progressing well. I think it looks great. I think it will be among the top games made for, for the Rift in general. And with the Omni, it will be pretty novel. It will be a pretty cool experience. And are there any games uh, or Rift demos out there that you've played that you're looking forward to using, uh, let's say, if they were fully configured with the, for the Omni? Well, right now we want to bring some more demos to our YouTube channel. We haven't done that in a while. So it's, in the first instance, we're looking at you know, Battlefield, uh, Ghosts and whatnot, some new, these new games that are really exciting. We want to show those in use with the Omni. And you told me that you have removed the plunger pin on the shoe, which was a design change from uh, what you showed earlier. Can you tell me about why that decision was made? Right, yeah, that decision was already made a couple of months ago. Uh, I didn't need it. Uh, the pin was good to help stabilize the feet, especially for novice users. But, you know, after some use, you don't really need it, so we just got rid of it. And there were some other Kickstarter rewards, right? How are those coming along? We shipped all the t-shirts, we shipped all the posters, uh, we, sh we are about to ship our Ready Player One signed copies. Uh, we had these prototypes that we sold, so we shipped seven priority prototypes to people all over the world. So almost everything is shipped except for the Omni itself and then the Mini Omni, which will uh, also be shipped next year. And the Kickstarter was really successful, but how has uh, interest gone post-Kickstarter? You have pre-orders up on your website? Yeah. We sell Omnis every day, which is very exciting because our product is not ready yet. Uh, but still, people come to our site every day we sell Omnis, so I'm very happy to see that even after our Kickstarter, uh, the excitement is there. Do you have any particularly interesting people, that have, people or groups that have purchased the Omni that you weren't expecting? Oh, many. Uh, DreamWorks bought one. Uh, we shipped a prototype to uh, BAE in England. Uh, a lot of the big conglomerates have reached out to us that want to use the Omni for a variety of, of applications uh, that I had never thought of. Uh, healthcare, for example, to use the Omni for Alzheimer research. Uh, construction design companies that want to use the Omni in architectural design. Uh, so. Uh, Siemens is another one that we're working with on a variety of applications. Beyond gaming, I think there's a lot of fascinating applications for the Omni. And what has the reaction been here at Expand? For us, these trade shows are a blast uh, because everywhere where we can show the Omni live, it creates such a great reaction from the audience. It's a very visual product, and people see it, and uh, you see their, their mouths, uh, their jaw, jaws drop. Uh, so it's, it's always fun for us to, to show it to the public. Well, thank you very much, Jan. I appreciate it. And good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you.